Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the time is for you. It's Sathil from Techobia. As you noted, the macOS Catalina is uh, launched and it is already available for the stable release. But as usual, I don't update my particular Mac casually, like on the same day when the release is available, to make sure that whatever the softwares I have installed is are compatible with this latest release and so on. So whereas for the Catalina, I came to know that uh, it doesn't support the 32-bit operations. I downloaded the package which was of around 8 GB. So right now on my screen, I am going to continue it. So we'll update you later that how is uh, the process and how smooth it is. Finally, I updated my Mac Air 2017 model to the Catalina and it is speed up. It is good. It is fast. Uh, as if you are a creator right now, my audacity is not working on this and when i checked it and i found that the audacity is not even supported for the catalina version so we have to wait for a while i think so until the audacity will provide the support but yes if you are a creator keep this in the mind that once you are done with the upgrade you are not allowed to open the audacity so as for the other apps i am facing one particular problem with the obs right now obs is opening it is working but in the terms of it is showing me that the update is available and whenever i am clicking on the update it is not performing itself it is not able to extract it whereas beside to that at the same time i got update from the skype i updated it and even my call recorder is working fine and uh, it's already on the updated version i checked the microsoft office excel powerpoint one note everything is working fine and even for the synchronization one note is working fine visual code editor is working fine sublime is working fine as in the terms of the app i only face the problem with the audacity which is not working and whereas other things are good and even in the terms of the free space it is showing me that i have a space available but it is uh, like inclusion it in the purgeable so i don't know that mac OS is going to automatically purge it or not but yes i know that out of the 128 gig i have the 64 gig available because i used to keep it blank so that whenever i'm going to particular using the final cut pro for the compilation or something then in that case definitely i have a lot of the space available for the back end rendering as well as if i'm just compiling the project or rendering the project in the full stream then definitely it must have a space around six to eight gb available for the final production that's it for the today video if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channels to stay tuned for the more videos like this as uh, so just only for an update recently i purchased the scanon 200d mark ii camera dedicatedly for the youtube video so that right now you can expect me for the more videos such a good quality like as you can see uh, my face clarity and even the background with some particular blur because i purchased a separate lens for that 50mm 1.8 aperture so that i can create more professional videos for you thanks for watching see you soon in the next video cheers